Members of the summit, which is the highest decision-making organ of the loose coalition of opposition parties under the Democratic Alliance, spent the day behind closed doors as the deadline for returning nomination forms drew nearer. At about 2.30 p.m., the Alliance made clear that they will not extend the deadline beyond 4 p.m. Besides FDC's presidential flag bearer Kiza Vesije, DP President Nobat Mau and former Vice President Gilbert Bukenya, who had returned their nomination forms, former Prime Minister John Patrick Amama Mbabazi, whose forms were picked by his lawyer Severino Trinobu Sinje yesterday, had not returned his forms. It is possible that Honorable Mama Mbabazi could actually be considered uh, if indeed he is able to uh, completely fill out the nomination form and deliver it today uh, here before the deadline which is this evening at 4 p.m. Thank you. Although late by six minutes after the deadline of 4 p.m., Mbabazi's lawyer Severino Trinobu Sinje arrived and was given audience. After one hour of extensive explanation to the summit, Severino told NTV that his client Mbabazi asked for an extension of the deadline. From the day, from the day, from the time of the deadline of the submission, he asked for two, 14 days. Trinobu Sinje explained that his client was still stuck in Jinja and that he wouldn't make it by the time of the deadline. He also said they had pending issues to finish. Processes of this nature do not work on timelines. It is the issue, not the timelines. He, however, said that his client is still interested in being part of the Democratic Alliance. It has been delaying is because he was consulting with them. It was not a simple process. It is not something that he deliberately uh, decided to do as a tactic. It would not benefit anybody. And two, by press time, the summit had not pronounced itself on Mbabazi's request on whether the deadline should be extended. The earlier stand, however, according to the TDA timeline, was to have a flag bearer by Monday the 14th of September after meeting by the candidate selection committee. Meanwhile, TDA is demanding for dialogue with government over electoral reforms before the election. We remain open to such dialogue until September 18 and demand a response by the state. Separately, Severino says Mbabazi will be taking senior members of the electoral commission to court after his rally in Soroti was disrupted. We have decided to take legal action against Mr. Sam Rakojo personally because the actions, his actions, his utterances are responsible for the violence that you see in eastern Uganda now. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.